Hey guys, what's up? My name is Justin or Prez and welcome to another NHL 22 news slash rumors video. In this one, uh, we're going to talk about some X Factor stuff. So there's some news on four new X Factors coming to the skating category in NHL 22. As you guys know, NHL 22 release date is uh, a little bit, a little bit more than a month away or a little bit, yeah, a little bit more than a month away or a little bit less than a month away as this video is actually getting released. X Factors will only be assigned to 50 NHL players. That doesn't mean you won't be able to use them yourself. By the way, I'm reading all this on realsport.realsport101.com. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description or in the comment section below. If you guys actually want to read it for yourselves also check out all the new x factors coming to the skating category in nhl 22 so we got four of them we're going to talk about them uh in this video so we're going to talk about the first one with this uh with the new x factor that's coming to the skating category in nhl 22 and that is wheels beat anyone anytime with the puck you won't get any agility speed or acceleration penalties when skating with the puck so kind of like um, they're showing right here, they're showing right here in the in the picture, Connor McDavid, and um, all that stuff. So you get the you get the like a little bit of a boost when it comes down to like skating around anybody. Obviously, it says you could beat anybody anytime with the puck. So it, it feels like that's one of the X factors I'll be using when it comes down to like playing online when I do play online. So um, it sounds like one of the X, uh, X factor abilities I will be actually trying out in nhl 22 online so another one here is elite edges make tight seamless impossible turns anywhere on the ice without uh suffering maneuverability i can't say that word i literally can't say that word but um anyways you guys know what i'm saying anyways so um basically tight turns is what we have in nhl 21 right now you can actually make tight turns but it feels like this one is an improvement on that obviously every Every little ability that they put in this game is a little bit of improvement from the last game with the abilities. Um, so, yeah, it sounds it sounds pretty cool. The Elite Edges. I don't know if you can have multiple X-Factor abilities enabled. I think you, go, you only can have one. So you really have to choose on which one that really fits your play type. And for me, um, I, like the, I, like, I like speed. I like going quick, getting around defensemen, getting around um, pretty much anybody nice. So my ability that I'll be choosing probably will be wheels, uh, like I said earlier, um, for um, just for that, just for that speed with the puck and get around people and all that stuff. So I feel like wheels will be better for me. But we got two more. We got two more to talk about. We got ankle breaker, uh, deke opponents at top speed without any penalties whatsoever. They'll be watching you fly down the ice before they know it what hit them um so it sounds like ankle breaker like ankle breaker it sounds like wheels and just um having a little bit of able to deke around your opponents um so i'm pretty sure what i'm what i'm getting at here is um once you get to top speed once your player gets to the top speed you can get around people and all that stuff break their ankles and everything so you'd be mostly on your edges Kind of like, um, you know, like you see, like sometimes Sidney Crosby does those, like sometimes he breaks people's ankles, like the, the amount of time he's on his edges and the way that he, he skates on his edges is amazing. If you guys haven't seen Connor McDavid or not Connor McDavid, um, and you haven't seen Sidney Crosby skate on his edges, it's an amazing sight. It's an amazing thing to see. You guys can look it up on YouTube. It's probably the best. <laughs> he's probably the best player to skate on his edges ever so um, but um anyways we're going to the next one is in reverse which is interesting you be uh you'll be a good skater backwards okay so it's um it's you be able to skate faster backwards and all that stuff or any other direction as you're skating for the ability with this ability and you can switch back to skating or switch back skating on a dime without any penalties to your speed or acceleration. So it seems like all these X Factor abilities don't mess with your like your your speed or your acceleration or anything like that. That's just good, which is good because you don't want to have anything minus on your guy. And 
the way that everything works in NHL 22, you have to really fine tune your class setup. And I'm glad that you have to really fine tune it this year because you're not just selecting perks. You're not just selecting things. You're not selecting your height and just your weight. You're selecting so many other things and you can actually really customize your character to the, to the way that you either play in real life or you can find out the best class that's possible for you. I think for me, it's going to at least take a little while for uh, for me to really understand it and really get the best class set up for me. Like you can look online and look up online like what is the best like class set up for NHL 22, but that class set up may not work for you. And that's why I love these these X factor abilities and like these little these little things that you can fine tune in the game to make the player that you want to. And and that's what I love about it. Like you can really fine tune your player the way that you want to play, which is awesome. But um, anyways, that's pretty much it, and uh, that's pretty much it for um, for this. And um, and. Yeah, there's really nothing really else to really talk about when it comes down to like superstar abilities or like the X Factor abilities because we already know some of the X Factor abilities when it comes down to it. Because obviously most of us played the technical test. <laughs> I only played it twice, so I haven't really got a full understanding of it. But um, yeah, it's just like, oh, here we go. Here's something. <laughs> the X Factor categories and tiers. So the X Factor abilities are split up into categories. The X Factors are separated to make each ability unique to the player, and they are divided into six total categories shooting, skating, passing, hockey IQ, defending, and goaltending. There will be a total of 29 X Factor abilities that will be make that will be that you'll be able to make in your own way into the categories assigned to the players in two tiers. The two tiers are primary zone ability and secondary superstar ability. So there's many, there's, there's, there's about, there's uh, six tiers, uh, six categories you can really focus on. I'll be focusing on like shooting and skating when it comes down to it, when it comes down to like the tiers and the categories and everything like that, because that's the type of player I am. I'm mostly shooting and I'm mostly shooting when it comes down to it. And um, that's the that's pretty much the way that I'm in real life. Unless I'm really like bogged down and I need to pass to one of my teammates, then I'm always looking for a pass. There's always when you're playing real hockey and you're playing in a game, you think that you can just skate every, <laughs> by everyone unless you're unless you're really good then. But um, anyways, you're always thinking like can I shoot and then if you can't shoot you got to think of like in a split second can't shoot then I got to pass where am I going to pass to I'm always looking for my team when I'm on the ice and when I have the puck I'm always since I'm the defenseman I can actually step back a little bit and look across the ice and see where my teammates are going to be and this 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 correlates into the game too when you're playing with your friends when you're playing with your friends you have you have the guys. You have the ability to talk to each other without talking to each other. It, it like it's weird. Like you know where your your friends are going to be on the ice, and they know where you're going to be on the ice. Same thing with like my real like when I play hockey in real life. I know where my my other defenseman is going to be. I know where my wingers are going to be, and I know where my centerman is going to be. Even though like if the centerman's like in towards the left wing or the right wing, he's not towards. He's not in the center of the ice. I know where he's going to be and I can actually make the calculated move is like, okay, do I need to rifle it down the ice or can I pass it to my other defenseman that can skate it up a little bit and then I can go up and he can pass it back to me and then I can pass it back to the, one of the wingers or the centerman. There's always ways to to really look at it. But for me in the game, I'm going to build my character around shooting and Mostly around shooting and skating, and speed. Uh, that's what I'm gonna really build my my uh, my player off of. You guys can t let me know in the comments below and what you guys are most excited for when it comes down to NHL 22, and what are you guys gonna work on 
when it comes down to the NHL 22 X factors. Are you guys going to focus on like skating? Are you guys going to focus on shooting, passing, hockey IQ, defending, or goaltending? What are you guys going to uh, focus on when it comes down to the categories and tiers of NHL 22 X factors? Let me know in the comments below. But also, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord. Links will be in the description down below. And if you guys want to become a Prize Advisor member, there'll be a join button right beside the subscribe button. Or there'll be a join button or there'll be a join link in the description down below if you guys are on mobile. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. And I just wanna be famous. Yeah. yeah, I just wanna be the greatest. Yeah. And I just wanna be famous. Yeah. And I'm not playing any more games either. Put